Shut the f up. Yikes, yikes, double yikes, triple yikes. Star Wars has had a tumultuous few weeks with its fans, whether it's choosing who to wish a happy birthday to, whether it's firing fan favorite Gina Carano, who played uh, Cara Dune, um, or using John Boyega to virtue signal, uh, it's been a spectacular backfire. Perhaps the curse of Gina Carano has already begun as Star Wars spectacularly uh, stepped in it this weekend when using John Boyega to virtue signal about race only to have every little thing they've done uh, brought up and thrown in their face. Storytelling, they posted, using an uh, artist rendition of John Boyega, storytelling is at its best uh, or is at the heart of being human and black representation in media gives us the opportunity to feel like we're a part of the world we're living in, to be seen, be heard, get, uh, more gives us a be seen and heard more, gives us a chance to feel like we are understood by those consuming our stories. Stories can show how a character can overcome struggles, conflict, and to see someone like yourself in that story is a springboard for the imagination. Introduce that to the eager mind of a child, and you inspire the next generation of storytellers and beyond. That's from Mel Milton, artist of this Finn illustration for Black History Month. Um, uh, by the way, John Boyega, uh, you know, just before we get into the hilarious backfire replies, never forget that John Boyega was shrunk and moved to the back of the poster for China. Now, again, look, I don't live in China. I don't know any mainland Chinese people. I know people in the United States who have been, who grew up in China and immigrated here. Um, but it would appear that the Chinese population has a problem with black folks. I mean, why else would you shrink the black guy and hide him in the back corner here, which you probably can't even see um, where he's big and upfront right here on the United States poster. If Disney really cared about black representation, uh, why are they so quick to erase it uh, in order to get a sweet, sweet taste of that China CCP uh, guzzling fluid? Star Wars of Force Awakens fans are menaced by the Chinese poster for the upcoming sci-fi epic. The poster sparked controversy online over the stylistic changes, one of which resulted in a diminished presence of John Boyega's lightsaber-wielding character. Here are some tweets about the poster. Aside from giving BB-8 more prominence, the biggest discrepancy, be discrepancy between the two posters uh, is shrinking of Boyega's fin and the positioning of his body. Boyega, who plays a lead role, is lowered down from the original poster, where he's the third largest character after Adam Driver's Kylo Ren and Daisy Ridley's Rey, and tucked behind Harrison Ford's Han Solo and Carrie Fisher's Leia, and, and behind a much larger BB-8. Meanwhile, the other non-white characters, including Oscar Isaac, who plays, plays rebel pilot Poe Dameron, Lupita Nyong, oh, I, um, who plays... Alien pirate Maz Katana and Chewbacca have been cut all together. They're replaced by X-Wings, TIE Fighters, and rows of Stormtroopers. I mean, this is literally Disney saying, hey, we know you're racist, but like, we still want your money. Is that cool? Uh, you know, this is unacceptable. Um, the fact that if you're going to do that, that's one thing. But then if you're going to virtue signal, signal about how black voices matter... Uh, maybe act like they do. Uh, they've also, uh, remember having Star Wars, a budding romance between Finn and Rey had to be removed from The Force Awakens novelization. I wonder why. I did my usual thing when I do these adaptations for trying to fix things that I think need fixing in the story and fixing of science. He said not so much with the characters because the characters are fairly well established in screenplay. Um, later on, he relented saying, uh, I'm going to tell you one thing that made me take out because one thing that made me take out because time has passed and I don't think it matters. 
First thing was there was obviously the beginnings of a relationship between John Boyega's character and Disney Ridley's character. I expected to see that developed further in Episode 7, which was The Last Jedi, and Zero happened with it. And we'll all know, oh, I'm sorry, we all know Zero happened with it. So there's no need to go in depth. But sadly, that's just the way things are. In addition, Foster was asked to remove an exchange between Rey and Han Solo. That was a callback to New Hope. You know, did they remove this, uh, you know, just for time and, and whatever? Maybe. Did they remove it because they knew they'd have to cut it for the Chinese market? So they removed it from the book to match it? Also, maybe. How about, remember, Disney being called to the mat very publicly for not only filming literally across the street from the camps where China is holding millions of Uyghur Muslims, but thanking them in the actual film. Uh, this is a, a consistent thing that Disney does, um, you know, bending the knee to China. So they pretend, you know, they care. They, they care about social justice issues here, but not in a country where they desperately need their money. See, Americans are too stupid to, to, to look into, in my opinion, a lot of these social justice-minded people. They're happy to retweet this BLM post by, or uh, this um, Black History Month post, from Disney, but don't bother to you know look into literally anything else Disney does. You see Mulan specifically thanking the publicity department of the CPC Xinjiang Uyghurs Autonomous Region Committee in the credits. You know, the place where the removal of their culture is happening. Uh, they filmed extent extensively in Xinjiang, which the subtitles call, quote, Northwest China. And there were huge calls to boycott the film for that. Again, also, how about Top Gun 2? Changing Maverick's jacket to appeal to China. Tom Cruise's iconic leather jacket has been changed in Top Gun Maverick, removing the Taiwanese and Japanese flags in order to, quote, appeal to China. You notice how Screen Rant writes this, appeal to China? That's not what they're doing. They're doing this to bend the knee to China. Um, and, and, and Star Wars fans are getting more in, you know, in tune with that. We can look at some of the top replies. You clowns made John Boyega a janitor virtue signaling about quote representation after this type of stereotyping, uh, great actor plus promising character with intriguing backstory made subservient in the worst Star Wars character ever. Rose Tico. Awesome work by Ryan Johnson. Heels versus Babyface. You shrunk him in the poster to appease to ists in China, you hypocrites. Star Wars just dishing out content gold. Here's Nerd Roddick pointing out, truly abhorrent. We love Gina Carano pointing out, obviously, the screen, the shrinking situation. Here's uh, Okiro saying, talking about black representation after Disney Lucasfilm sidelined Finn erased John and then literally went out of the way to make sure an interracial romance couldn't happen because I guess black people aren't family friendly. The entire thread of people uh, are, are, is getting, they're getting completely shredded. And a lot of this I'm going to attribute to the curse of Gina Carano because it has mobilized, remobilized, um, you know, uh, additional characters or additional pushback. You can see, just going to leave this here. Uh, pointing to the article, John Boyega slams Disney's handling of his Star Wars character. Oh God, Disney loves Star Wars and black people and other people of color so much that they won't redo the Star Wars films. Then they can easily make another Star Wars animated series telling the story the way they should have been told it. Told it. I mean, absolutely hilarious. Uh, everybody in this reply completely... Redo the story giving him the Jedi arc he deserved. All about representation until you shrink Finn on a poster to appeal to China and throw away all of his character potential in the movies. I'm sure all you really do care. John Boyega, I'm the only cast member whose experience of Star Wars was based on their race. I mean, everybody absolutely, absolutely destroying them. John Boyega slams Disney's handling of a Star Wars character. This is back in Entertainment Weekly. It's so difficult to maneuver, Boyega said, according to the profile, exhaling deeply. You get yourself involved in projects, and then you're not necessarily going to like everything. But what I would like to say at Disney is to not 
bring out a black character, market them to be much more important to the franchise than they really are, then have them push to the side. It's not good. I'll say it straight up. He's absolutely right. I mean, at least, you know, I knew this because that's what they do, but you feel bad. Like you guys, he continues, like you guys knew what to do with Daisy Ridley. You knew what to do with Adam Driver, he said. You knew what to do with these people. But when it came to Kelly Marie Tran, when it came to John Boyega, you knew F all. So what do you want me to say? What do you want? Or what they want you to say is, I enjoy being a part of it. It was a great experience. Nah, nah, nah. I'll take that deal when it is a great experience. They gave all the nuance to Adam Driver, all the nuance to Daisy Ridley. Let's be honest. Daisy knows this. Adam knows this. Everybody knows this. I'm not exposing anything. Uh, I'm the only cast member who had their own unique experience of the franchise based on their race. Let's just leave it like that. It makes you angry with a process like that. It makes you more militant. It changes you because you realize I got given this opportunity, but I'm in an industry that wasn't even ready for me. So let's chill on the virtue signaling post Star Wars and let the curse of Gita Carano continue. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.